Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajana. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to deal with sudden changes. How to deal with sudden changes in your work environment, in your home environment, whatever the case may be. All right, I'm going to share some simple strategies, how to process it and how to just release it out of your system, right? What do you, how do you just, just, Getting out of that frazzle state. How do you get out of that frazzle state when sudden unfoldings occur in your life, right? Sudden quick changes. You're like, what? (laughs) Okay. So number one, remind yourself that nothing is a big deal. This should be your mantra. Nothing is a big deal. Nothing is a big deal. Nothing is a big deal. Next, use the, the just technique. It's just blah, 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 blah. So let's say you have an overwhelming amount of uh, documents to go through. It's just documents, just uh, paperwork, just a commute, right? And picture whatever that you're stressed about as trees, especially like let's say you have to deal with a lot of uh, individuals in your life and it's due, due to your work uh, dynamic, right? So you have to deal with different personalities. Oh, just trees. See, pick, see people as trees. Just like you, you, know, you walk through the woods when you're hiking and you see beautiful trees. If you see them as trees and you zone them out, it's a visualization technique, it has less of an effect on you. You're like, oh, they're just trees. And you're not so, you're more compassion, right? Compassionate versus, oh, goodness gracious, I have to deal with all these personalities and all well, they're complaining and da 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 right? So just use the just technique. It's just, they're just trees, just documents, just paperwork, whatever it may be, right? Next, have a better mindset and remind yourself that like, hey, things are going to unfold. Sudden changes are going to happen. That's just part of the universe. It's part of the planet, right? See it as a good deed. How can you earn a good deed when, from this whole situation, <laughs> Right? Next, have a million-dollar mindset, right? a millionaire, basically, mindset, where it's like, I'm not going to be rushed in rushed mode. I'm not going to be in frazzled mode, right? I'm going to, I'm doing this out of a choice. I'm, I'm not working because I have to work. I'm working because I want to impart knowledge to the world. I want to, I want to share my creative juices. So changing your mindset, right, into a, like, just carrying yourself like, hey, I'm already a millionaire because I have all the greatest things in my life. I have a beautiful kids, beautiful family, whatever it may be. So all the extra struggles that you may go through or unfoldings that you may that may occur throughout your day, you're like, wait, I'm already a millionaire. I'm not going to be rushed. I'm no one's gonna make me feel frazzled, no matter what happens, what no matter what changes happen. Be that unperturbed soul, right? And remind yourself like, hey. I'm just a traveler in this world. I'm just a traveler traveling through. So I'm an unperturbed soul. Because all this extra stuff, it's, it's just, it's not personal, <laughs> right? Next, <clears throat> remind yourself that when these sudden changes happen, there's a quick tendency to talk about it. And yes, it's okay to vent, but don't get into complaining mode. So I have a rule like I'm going to talk about the same topic no more than three times or to two, three different people, but if, if it, it's after, after that, it's complaining, so I'm going to stop. Learn how to be the space versus the resistance, right? You want to be the space for these unfoldings to occur. Don't join the chaos train. Don't join the complaining train, especially in work environments. You don't want to be part of the resistance. <laughs> you want to be the space for all of this to pass through, right? All of these energies to pass through. Breathe in. Breathe out and do more of this throughout your day when these sudden changes occur. Next, remind yourself that winners face the world boldly. They face into it over and over again, right? You can get stuck on, wait, but I went through this already and this happened just a year ago and why, why is this happening all over again? And it becomes to this like big snowball. Remember, it's all isolated events. It's not this big accumulation that's out to get you. It's just separate events, life unfolding, life doing what it does. It's not personal. Rem- remind yourself to engage in self-care. Work, walk with confidence wherever you are. I don't care what's going on. You walk with confidence, right? 
Next, say to yourself, absolutely not. I don't want any of this nonsense inside of me. Anybody's stuff. People's stuff. I don't want life stuff inside of me. Life's unfolding inside of me either. It's just, I don't want to deal with it. And remind yourself, like, nope, not my problem. Not my problem. Not my problem. I'm just going to do what I need to do. And that's it. Right? I'm going to do what I need to do. Give my best. Right? And that's enough. And that's it. So, like, not absorbing everything. (laughs) Say, absolutely not. And then next, remind yourself, complaining will only weaken me and put me in a victim mindset. So again, please, please be careful about that complaining train. Because when things unfold, and especially when there's sudden changes, right, you'll have a group of people or a lot of people around you just getting into that mindset of victim and da 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 right? You can be there for people, but just join it. Just be that space. And remind yourself over and over and over, like, hey, if I start complaining like everybody else, it's only going to weaken me. My overreactions, my overreactions, not just outwardly, but inwardly, right? Because we do that a lot, too. We might not be vocal outside, but inside we're like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. And then you're like in fight and fight mode, and you just... Just stop because it's going to only weaken you and put you in that victim mindset. And that's a losing cycle. Pull yourself out, engage in exercise, meditation, funny shows, get a massage, whatever you need to do. Go talk to your therapist and realign and face the world boldly over and over again because that's what winners do, right? That's what winners do. All right, you got this. Take care of yourself. Bye.